wake away There's no more time for slumber Wake away, gloves coming for you like thunder Wake away, let yourself see the lightning Wake away, it doesn't have to be frightening Wake away, put your feet on the ground Wake away, it's time now for us to be found Wake away, let yourself feel the joy Wake away Wake away, we can still play and dance. Wake away, it's a once in a lifetime chance. Wake away, I see who you are now. Wake away, wake away. Wake awake, there is no more time for slumber. Wake awake, let love hit you like a thunder. Oh, wake away, feel the lightning. Wake awake, it doesn't have to be frightening. Wake awake, put your feet in the sea. Wake awake, allow yourself to be free. Wake awake, I am here in every cell. Wake awake, it's time now to be well. Wake awake, there is no more time for slumber. Wake awake, let the love hit you like thunder. Wake away, breathe in the light. Wake away, no more wrong and right. Wake away, feel it all around you. Wake away, we can all. Wake away Good morning. <clears throat> it's August 13th, 2020, um, here in a really sacred place. I haven't made one of these videos in so long. Nine years ago, I started making videos. Uh, it was called 40 Chance, 40 and Fabulous, 40 Chance in 40 Days. I was 39. <laughs> I did some of them on this porch. <clears throat> you can see the energy, obviously, you can see the energy. But this is also, I just want to honor my father, beautiful man and soul and stability in my life. And, and these are some of his boat uh, names that he no longer, he has retired his boats. <clears throat> and so they're up here. You can see post-doc. 
<laughs> so big shout out to old Doc Matheson, who's my dad. Um, and miraculously, somehow I've woken up here at this house on Cape Cod and there's nobody else here, which is very rare. And it's in the middle of COVID and I'm here in this glory. And I haven't made a video in a long time um, for people who tune into my videos. So I wanted to share a vibration, which is really what I've done my whole life. <laughs> share a vibration. And that vibration has been imperfect and also sometimes a very perfect divine vibration comes through me, Alicia, the human that is imperfect. And that's what we're all doing. We all have a divine perfection that comes through us. And you could talk about that in a scientific way. You could talk about that in a spiritual way. You could talk about that in a psychological way, you know, like in the flow, right? I mean, like I first felt it when I was playing field hockey in high school. It wasn't like a big spiritual thing. It was just, I was playing field hockey. The ball was on my stick and I was like one with the ball. So we all feel in different ways. I have a good friend who creates beautiful quilts. <clears throat> and that's not how she makes money, but I know that, that when she is doing that, she is in connection with her divine expression. So how are you expressing divinely? How are you expressing creatively? It's not about how you make money or what people know about you. Are you allowing yourself to feel the flow through you? And are you making that a priority in your life? Now, I have a lot of friends too who just spent the last 20 years raising children, so that may seem like that's impossible. If you're raising children, if you're a woman, you're raising children, you're working. So yes, take what I say with a grain of salt because I have no children and <clears throat> I don't know what your life is like. And I invite you to breathe and feel your feet on the ground, wherever you are. And listen to the birds. Feel the sun. Take a moment, take a pause. We're heading into a time where we're going to be even more connected to technology. And it's really, really important that you remember what it feels like to be in your human body. And sometimes it feels painful or it feels uncomfortable. <clears throat> And sometimes it feels like you just dove into the most perfect saltwater ocean on the perfect hot day and no one's asking anything of you. <laughs> so, I don't have much to say. I hope you can feel the invitation. to open up and receive more love. Open up and receive more ease. Open up and receive more flow. Notice when you contract, notice when you get tense. And invite yourself to breathe and soften your body. If our bodies are tense, it's very hard to create ease. That's why a lot of people do yoga. That's why a lot of people exercise, right? <clears throat> so listen, you may be seeing this video. God knows who's seeing it, where, when. There's a few people I want you to know about if you see this video. There's a woman named Vivian Gerard. She has a website called mysouljourney.com. She has an incredible amount of tools. If you are just starting to wake up to your own consciousness or just starting to wonder about meditation or 
healing or energy or anything. She has amazing tools that you can look at for free. And then she has amazing programs to really guide you. Because what I want to say to you is we're not supposed to do anything alone right now. We really aren't. So there is so much help and so many resources for you if you are just starting to have an, a new awareness. Or even if you're like me, been on a spiritual path for a while and are having new awarenesses, like very basic awarenesses. It's not, it's not a linear process and there's not a better than or worse than. It's like, it's like nothing we know about yet. <laughs> it's so hard to talk about. It's like, it's like the ocean. I mean, if you haven't heard my I Am The Ocean song, that's, that's, that's how I feel about it. <clears throat> There's also a great teacher named Derek O'Neill that I've been uh, learning from for 15 years. And his website is DerekO'Neill.com. And he has a lot of amazing tools, especially if you've really been through some deep stuff. Because he's trained as a psychotherapist and he has the spiritual tools. And so if you've had like a, a, a real severe trauma or you're just becoming aware of trauma um, he has a healing center in Ireland and but also if you just want to like come into the best part of you he's also great I mean he works with everybody at every level he's a pretty cool guy and he's Irish uh, who else do I want to point out to you I have a friend Melissa Boyd in Maine she does great work Jackie Bama is a great yoga teacher there's so many people to guide you if you're looking for guidance. So there's probably more that I'm not even mentioning and I'm not sure why these beings are coming through, but they are. We're not supposed to do anything alone. And um, reach out and connect, even though you may not be able to connect in person. All right. I'm gonna end with this chant. Ten years ago, I um, flew to Egypt to teach music. <clears throat> Nine years ago, I was in Beirut, Lebanon. And I'm really feeling Beirut. <sighs> I'm feeling like I want to connect into the ancient. I mean, so much of the root of civilization. <laughs> That's a hard word to say civilization to look up that word originated in Beirut if you don't know that you should do a little research about Lebanon it's a powerful place Gamaya Amrit Yoma Amritam Gamaya Asatoma Sat Gamaya Tomasoma Joti Tear, 
Lead us from untruth to truth. Lead us from darkness to light. Lead us from death to immortality. Asatoma satgamaya. Tomasoma jyotir gamaya. Amrit yorma amritam gamaya. Beautiful ancient prayer in the language of Sanskrit. The lineage I learned it from through Derek O'Neill and Creek and Wellness Retreat Center, which is in New Ross, Wexford, Ireland. Uh, and he, he, the vibration I sing is from a teacher named Satya Sai Baba in Puttaparthi, India. So it's a very ancient <clears throat> vibration and many um, beings and artists chant and sing Asa Toma, uh, many versions, Tina Malia, Girish, Donna Delory. So many artists. Those are just a few of my faves. Deva Pramal and Mitten. So if you're new to chanting and vibration, check out those artists. <sighs> May all beings in all the worlds be happy and free. May we all awaken to our true nature. And may we serve with joy ourselves and others as we allow harmony and light and peace and prosperity to continue to transform and manifest. Thanks for listening. I am Sounds of Alicia also known as Alicia Mathieson. And uh, once this whole COVID thing is over, I hope to be with you in person, singing and chanting and being. <laughs>